surprise. Uh, I thought I'd just drop this out of nowhere. I've wanted to play Quake for a long time. Right after I was done with, I think, Plutonia in Doom, uh, I was like, oh, I'm itching for some more boomer shooter action. And, you know, a logical follow-up would be either, like, Doom 64 or Quake. Uh, and I tried getting it working, like, the original sort of version of it. I have the uh, version that's on Steam, published by Bethesda, because Bethesda purchased and owns id Software. And I, it, it just was riddled with issues for me. I, I couldn't get it to work. Like, the controls, binding the controls was kind of a nightmare. Getting mouse look to work, I was like, no. It just, like, I tried kinda hard, <laughs> and I felt like an idiot because I just couldn't get it to control, like, a normal video game. And I'm well aware that controls, you know, used to be, the standards for controls used to be a lot different. Not just, not worse, but just different, you know. Uh, hold on, guys. I, I gotta blow my nose. Give me just one second. Uh, so... I've decided, though, when you open up the version on Steam released through Bethesda, or published through Bethesda, it says, like, oh, play Quake, parentheses, original, or play Quake, which I assume is just, like, from what I can tell, kind of an HD, you know, 60 FPS, high res, uh, widescreen version of the game. So I'm just gonna go with that. When I played Doom on stream for the first time, I used the same, like, the Doom equivalent, the Bethesda published one, that's kind of got, like, it's got some changes here and there, and, like, uh, it's not the, like, a lot of times I try to go for the, exactly the original experience, or, like, as close as I can comfortably, but I, I'm gonna make a little exception here, because playing Quake original was too much of a headache for me. Uh, we got some lovely art here, this is from Chucks1759, uh, Somebody said it reminded them of the Ash baby <laughs> getting blown away by a nuke or whatever. It does give me that vibe. I hope it's not AI. It doesn't... I don't think it is. Uh, but it kind of, like, the whenever... It sucks now, because, like, nowadays whenever I see something, like, surreal or, like, non-distinct, you know, like, the slightly, like, blurry teeth or whatever, which I'm sure is just a stylistic cho choice, now my brain's always like, Is this AI? You know? Which I'm sure no artist wants to hear that about their work, but it looks great. Thank you, Chuck1759. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, you can see brush strokes. I mean, AI can replicate brush strokes, I hate to say. <clears throat> I don't get the vibe necessarily that this is AI, though. Just the Ash Baby comment sort of made me start thinking about it. Uh, anyway, let's get the game open. What is Heaven Studio capturing? Let's not do that. Uh, when I booted up this game, it had like a million logos in front of it. There's also, I <laughs> I will admit that I don't know much about like Quake stuff. I mean, I'm just going to start with playing the original. But when I open it up, it also says I can play Scourge of Armagon and Dissolution of Eternity, which I don't know if those are like bonus episodes or like different games in the same engine or what. Uh, but we're just going to play Quake. Somebody asked, is the Ash Baby AI? And somebody responded, that's a real image. It's from Pompeii. <laughs> no, it is not. <laughs> okay, what, night dive, right? I like button mashed through all these when I first opened this up. But night dive also, I think, uh, does other boomer shooter modern ports. Like, they did the... The Blood Modern Port, I think. I forget what it's called. Blood Fresh Supply. Look at all this shit. They got a warning for lichting things. <laughs> what the fuck is that? That was an obscenely long word. Okay, here it is. Quake. Uh, I don't know a ton going in, frankly. But, like, I know- I know some things. I'll even be able to sprinkle in some fun facts. It's all stuff that I know tangentially through Half-Life. Uh, but here we fucking go. Uh... Actually, how do I start, like, playing the game, though? 
Here we go. It's got to connect to Bethesda.net, because of course it does. Uh, good volume, guys? How are we feeling about the volume? I mean, it's like, like, kind of a loud menu. Let's go, new game. Quake. So look, Scourge of Armagon, Dissolution of Eternity, Dimension of the Past, Dimension of the Machine. Something tells me I'm not going to go as in-depth on Quake as I did with Doom. Uh, something about it just... It's <laughs> its a lot more like brown, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Uh, Doom is just so, like, vibrant, and Quake is a lot more sort of uh, subdued, I guess. Quake. Uh, so here we are. Uh... <clears throat> this is a difficulty select room, I'm pretty sure. This hall selects hard skill. And I think I remember ages ago I watched Civi 11, his like video on this game. And I think there's like somewhere there is like a secret like nightmare difficulty that you need to like know how to get to, but I honestly have no clue how to even get there. So, and, and not that I would want to do that. I'm just going to go on normal, I think. Quake. It's so, it's so video gamey, <laughs> and like, I love these particle effects. I think are like iconic. From what little I know about Quake, just those weird little particle effects are so cool. This was like, it's like the great granddaddy of like, PC gaming, particularly first-person shooters. You know. So I. I don't know exactly what this is. There are red arrows pointing here. This is the first episode, Dimension of the Doomed. The mystical past comes alive. So are these the other episodes? Well, did I just see my shadow? I have a shadow. There ain't no way that's in the original, right? What the fuck? No way. Literally, there's not a chance. Right? Was that in the original? This is the second episode, The Realm of, the Black, Ma of Black Magic. Okay. It's cool that they give, like, a little teaser. What a strange thing. This is all shit that was navigated in a menu in Doom. Why is it a level here? Cool. Classic teleport. All right. Uh, here we are. Music, I think, and sound effects in this game, you can jump across. Music and sound effects, I think, partially done by Trent Reznor of the Nine Inch Nails. And, like, I know that the there's a nail gun, and if you pick up the, uh, you can jump up here. Wall humping. Shoot this secret door. <laughs> cool, okay. Shot activated. There's, like, boxes of nails that you get that are like the ammo and they have the little like nin logo on them can i go in here nice uh is that all that's over here i guess so so you know i should uh oh fuck i've seen this room this was in guess the game i think i should have checked this beforehand can we get like the bar i i Get this, like, weird HUD out of my face. I want the bar at the bottom of the field. Dynamic shadows. Let's just go ahead and turn those off. I don't know. I kind of feel like... Were color light maps a part of it? I feel like that was more a gold source thing. Enhanced models. Can I'm actually going to, like, turn a bunch of the settings off. Depth of field, ambient occlusion, anti-aliasing. Okay. Uh... Let's just go back. Uh, display Bethesda.net in this crusty ass old font. <laughs> no, that's where I just was. Maybe gameplay? HUD style. Standard. Okay. I want the face, yeah! His weird little, urgh, his dinky little face in the corner. It's- I feel like it's not as good as Doom Guy. Doom Guy just had so much personality, but, you know, I'm being quick to judge. Is this just summon the elevator? I think I just heard a, a sound effect just straight ripped from Doom, which is, you know... We should expect that, that's par for the course in... Not just id Software games, but, uh... <laughs> anything! Not even video games, necessarily. Okay, wow, a lot of enemies. Right off the bat. I, I like that I'm just killing dogs. I love killing animals, so this is huge for me. 
I heard a dog, but I don't know where it is. Huh. Seriously, where are you? Uh, let's go up here, I guess. Here we are. Nice. Oh, that fucking mechanical, like, whirring. That little sound effect. So classic. Oh god, there's guys. Nail gun. I got the nail gun. There was the, the nine inch nails. I don't suppose this is... This looks like the mouth of, like, a Tuscan raider. Okay. I do enjoy the, like, dark, like, ambient music so far, honestly. It's a lot less, like, cartoony... Nice. Then... Doom's music. Oh, that's Hurdy. That is Hurdy. I thought that was there was going to be a secret down there. For some reason, I was like, are there headshots? No fucking way. Two more to go. Okay. A little, like, switch pressing tutorial, I guess. Dude, is this... Hold on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm right at home. Boys, you remember when I was playing fucking, like, Black Mesa in TF2 and shit? Where the shotguns have actual, like, spread to the bullets? And people were like, why does... Wh people were getting, like, pissed off, and, like, I understand why. People were like, why the fuck does he use a shotgun from long distance? But now, fucking high-accuracy shotgun pellets, my beloved. They have returned to me. Okay, I, I mean, it seems like, you know, again, I don't know a ton about this, so I'm sorry if what I'm saying is, like, patently fucking obvious, but, uh, even the enemy behavior and, like, the system of, like, sometimes they get stunned by larger attacks, the shotgun has a high chance to, uh, slip gate? Is that what it call they called it? Hmm. Like, slip knot? <laughs> Do you know the story of this one? No. I mean... Not really. No more than I knew Doom's story. Okay, new guy. Chainsaw guy. Can you blow yourself up, please? Oh, maybe they don't hurt him. That's lame. Okay. Big fat guy with a chainsaw and a grenade launcher. <laughs> That's a cool second enemy. So, the, let me dispense the small amount of knowledge I actually have about this game, which is that, uh, you know, id Software made Doom, and then, uh, oh, he fell over right away like a fucking idiot. Oh god, okay, just don't look, don't sit still against those guys, I'm starting to think. Uh, id made Doom, of course, and then, uh, Many, uh, sub-projects of Doom were made, many derivatives of the Doom engine. Uh, the, the revolutionary Doom engine, which, like, fake 3D, uh, had a, had a weird way of, like, displaying... Is that... hmm. That looks like a Switch. Which had a revolutionary way of, like, projecting 2D, uh, sprites as basically existing in a 3D space. Gotta use the nail gun. Oh my god, what the <laughs> I've got this dinky axe. Oh my god. <laughs> diggy diggy hole. Oh my god, it's like frame instant fucking weapon swap. No animation or whatever or anything. But basically as a follow-up. Oh, super shotgun. Double barreled. Pretty good noise, honestly. I don't know if it tops the super shoddy. That's a pretty good boom. Hold on, what is this? Silver key, I need the silver key, okay. I'll keep an eye out. The big advancement, like John Carmack was this sort of like, I, I don't know if he's like still a programming genius, but he was like seen as a programming genius. This door opens elsewhere, okay. Uh. He developed, he, you know, produced the Doom engine, I think, using... It was like other people... No. Did they make the Wolfenstein engine, or did they, like, derive from that? I don't even know, actually. But he made the Doom engine, and it was very, uh... Oh, this is good water. Okay. Nice. It was very popular, very well-received. Well uh, and... That's just a loop around, sadly. 
the big, highly anticipated follow-up to Doom was Quake. And they, like, the new revolution was just the ability to use 3D models well, basically. Because there were 3D models and 3D games before this, of course, but, uh... They kind of sucked ass and ran really poorly and really, like, slow and, uh... With, with really poor, like, with the with all those fucking floating point errors and shit. Uh, okay, I, why did that loop back here? For what purpose? Deathmatch purposes? And so this game's engine is now, like, it's like, its DNA is in, like, basically all first-person shooters and, like, a ton of, like, just 3D games in general. Uh because of the way that it, like, renders things was just so much more efficient than, uh, anything that was possible previously. I'm actually kind of stuck, uh, already, like, instantly. What's going on here? I don't know where to go. I keep finding secrets, and then, uh, they're just... nothing. So the Quake engine is something that eventually got developed into the Gold Source engine that Half-Life 1 and many other games were built in. I feel like I've been all these ways. Level 2 and I'm lost. Yep, it's an id software game, all right. Yeah, cuz this 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 uh, is there something like secret under here? How do I use my flashlight, guys? I love this fucking like wow effect of being underwater, by the way. Man, I really can't figure out how to, like, fucking get to the end of this level. <laughs> it's level two! I already went through here. There are secrets everywhere, you're just not looking for them in the right spots. I mean, is it just, like, unlabeled sections of wall? Look at that sky. I are we sure, like, <laughs> I already shot this, right? Oh, I just didn't even go this way. What the fuck? Okay. Those guys sure do take a lot of shots. I guess I'll... I gotta use my super shoddy. Okay. I don't think these ever stop. Indiana Jones traps. Yeah, that double barrel, dude. That's, uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty fucking good. I don't know why they didn't call it a super, though. Okay, there's some cool armor. Uh, can I, like... Was that the result of me pressing the button, or was that just kind of a coincidence? Like I crossed a line def or something. Okay. Okay. I'm back here. At least now I have a direction to go. Oh shit, okay, okay, okay. That it was not... Interacting with things is different in this game. Okay, monster closet. Knights. They're just like melee only guys. Let's uh, use the nail gun. Nail gun is new chain gun, surely. Nine inch nails. You got the nails. Oh, this... Is this where I, I was here before, I think? And, like, stuff opened up? Nice. Okay. This wasn't that one door with the silver key, but I did just get a silver key. Oh, I see. And now I'll be able to backtrack. Lovely. Really enjoying this bit of the soundtrack. Uh, that has a guy going... In the background. I say that unironically. Even though I am, like, lightly mocking it. Okay, is this... Nope. I thought that might be level exit cube! Oh, that's cool. <laughs> okay. Get a load of this guy. The one thing I know about the Shambler... The Shambler is, like, a famous enemy. 
the famous debate of whether it has fur or just like weird like skin <laughs> okay this seems like the end of the level look at that <laughs> there's like human faces stretched over there and a bunch of bones very cool nice all right and I almost full cleared it so sad that little like thing at the bottom of like the screen that says click to continue that just is totally at odds with the rest of the HUD oh nice great grenade launcher I get one of these the another iconic thing is the fucking rocket launcher right that has uh, an appearance in Team Fortress 2 as the original uh Okay. It's just a nail gun in case you somehow missed the first one, I guess. Get some nin. Oh my god. Silent Hill 1 boss? Okay, well, you know, the time honored tradition of circle strafing enemies <laughs> is working out pretty well so far. Okay. My god, where do they keep coming from? The double-barreled uh, is not quite as... as much of a sniper shotgun as this one is. Which I'm glad, because, like... the fact that... Oh god. The normal shotgun has so much less spread than the super shotgun in both this and Doom. It Oh! It, like, makes me want to use them. That was lucky. Haha! <laughs> These are these the same 3D models as the uh, the ones that we saw in the difficulty select? I wonder. They kind of look like it. Oh, maybe they just don't die. What is this? It, oh, that was good. That was good. Ring, ring of shadows. What is this fucking hexen bullshit? What? <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing in this game. Okay. Okay, let's just, let's figure out once and for all, do these guys actually die? Oh, they have a ranged attack. No, maybe, uh, maybe it was just, no, they do get back up. Okay. Oh, I thought that was going to crush me. I got the rockets. I don't even really know what that, like, did. It probably just reduces enemy accuracy, if I had to guess. Uh, this fucking axe is so funny. Hey, there's fuck tons of like health and ammo everywhere. Uh, that's a double barreled. Okay, and now we're back. We're back at the entrance to the level. Okay, that was all just a side path. <laughs> no, so this is our starting room. <clears throat> Uh, somebody earlier was saying, like, you need complex HUD, and I thought they were joking, but I think... Let's just try full. Because I was thinking, like, where's my ammo? Oh, yeah, and it goes from side to side of the screen. That's good shit right there. That's what we want to see. Okay, so am I... Maybe... Maybe this is way off base, but if I find another platform like that, will it, like, warp me there, perhaps? Yeah, I got the golden key, and there was a door that needed the golden key, but I don't think it was up there. I think it was down here. In this general region, at least. Maybe, uh, let's try out the axe on these sort of weaker guys. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, that was actually a switch that opened that gate. Uh, let's just go down here again and just retrace my steps. Yes, this was the area with the golden key requirement. Oh. Probably not the best things to use grenades on. Because they're a little dodgy. No crouch button, so I can't, you know, half-life my way through that vent. 
Oh. <laughs> that is not a vent. That is a place to receive a, a cannonball or something. What the fuck was that? They like shot a rod at me. Scary zombie tunnels. Okay, now we're up here. Nice. I made my way around, but like all that was actually there was a goodie. Rather than <sighs> progress, but the, we found progress. We found progress. The diversion was the way to go. Sun Tzu said that. Didn't even have to hit use. That just made a bunch of zombies come out? I see. <laughs> Fucking dumbasses. You know how dumb you sound? I don't know why I'm even doing this. Maybe there's secrets in one of those. I don't know. I kind of figured the level was about to end, frankly. <laughs> But, uh, I, other boomer shooters I would love to play. Uh... Help? Help. Help me? Help me. Help! <laughs> help, wait! Oh, okay. <laughs> they psyched me out! Those bastards! I would love to play Blood. I would love to play Duke Nukem 3D. I would love to play, uh... I guess Shadow Warrior? I don't know. To round out the, like, pseudo-trilogy. These grenades even bounce off of walls. That's good shit. Oh, I just took a fuck ton of- Oh! Damage. I'm assuming there's fall damage in this. Maybe not. Hmm. Uh, uh. Okay. Yeah, there's a, we got someone in the chat saying this is not what Doom looked like. This is heavily remastered. I am aware. I gave a whole talk at the beginning about how I, uh... I tried to use, like, a more true-to-the-original version, but it was just being a pain in the ass, and I was like, eh, why not use this version that has been, like, made to look better, you know? And I turned off a lot of the settings. Uh, there was like an HD models setting or something. Uh, maybe there's m even more actually that I could disable. Sorry, did I say Doom? Uh, it's, that's gonna happen. Uh, I don't know what ambient occlusion is, frankly, off the top of my head. Model interpolation, I think, I think I know what that is. I think this is actually something that I would like to have off. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and turn off color light maps and just see how that looks. Yeah, sure, whatever, I don't know. Uh... I think... Whoa. Oh, I thought that was an enemy for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Okay, yeah, no, I'm glad I turned that off, actually. Because the way the enemies are animated in this game is like... <laughs> traditional animation. It's like... It's like hand-drawn 3D, if that makes even the slightest bit of sense. Where there weren't, like, yeah, they look so janky and, like, jittery. Because the enemies, they're, like, hard, they're, like, hand-posed, basically. They don't have skeletal models that are, like, you know, using, like, imitated limbs to move around and make animations. It's like every single frame is just a uniquely posed 3D model. That they're just like swapping out these different poses on the fly. And I think the interpolation just makes all those animations look a fuck ton smoother. And that was the big thing uh, when Half-Life came out. One of the big things was they were showing off their uh, skeletal animations that they made using the Quake engine, which I don't think had been done before. If it had been done, it was, like, shitty or something? I don't know, actually. I feel a certain sense of danger in this game. Doom is, like, 
classic Doom is like not super hard, and that's kind of part of what I enjoy about it is it's like brutal, like over the top gameplay, but it's also not. Oh well, I'm in a tough spot. Huh? <laughs> I got debated. Doom is like it's not like a chump game or anything, but. Once you, like, know your way around the weapons and the enemy types, like, there's not a lot that they can throw at you. I mean, I played Plutonia. I got through Plutonia on, like, fucking Ultraviolence, so... It can't be that hard. Me, Mr., like, awful at first-person shooters. Uh... <laughs> okay, good. A and I feel that a lot of the ease that comes with playing Doom is just that, uh... It's, it's got, like, auto-aim, you know, and it, and it helps you, uh, you, you don't have to worry about certain axes of, like, aiming and movement. Scary room? Maybe grenade launcher would be good for this? I assume it has splash damage. Nice. Okay, we got a blue key. Oh, sorry, silver key. Rip blue key. Oh, that was awesome. That was fucking awesome, dude. Uh, <laughs> somebody said modern gamer in Doom is like an invasive species rinsing the local population. That's so utterly true. That's like better than I could have ever possibly phrased it. Because it's like you only need to worry about like this axis of movement and then the game just takes care of everything else for you in terms of aiming. Here it's like I actually have to worry about the third fucking dimension and that's that's where my skills in first person shooters really fall apart. Is with that ax that extra axis uh, being added. I don't suppose, uh, I wonder if I will drown if I go underwater for too long. I make gasping noises when I come up for air. This, this is sus. What's up with this? Whatever. Uh, I'm going in circles. Clearly. Something about these games, I'm just, I'm just terrible at navigating them. Uh, I don't suppose, oh, this is an actual path. This is where I came from. <laughs> Damn it. At least there's a big box of nails for me. Without any milk, too. No less. Okay, there's a guy. Uh, was he, like, released into here when I crossed a line def somewhere? Or something? It's like when I grabbed that key, I probably released him into the arena. We're still at 100 health. I keep seeing that big red zero under my ammo. Uh, or my armor, rather, and thinking that it's my health. So I keep going over to health kits and trying to pick them up. Ooh. 150, thank you, sir. <laughs> that chainsaw sound, I wonder if that's taken straight from Doom 2. I'm not that familiar with the chainsaw noise because I didn't use it very much in Doom, frankly. It's like good, but. Oh, uh, sucks to be you. There are more to go. Oh, do I need to kill all these chuckle fucks? Maybe, uh, I can just, I can cheese him. Okay, let's see if there's fall damage. There is. And I bet I could be pinched. Oh, wait, no, these are switches. And I'm being shot at by traps. Okay. I see now. I thought that was referring to, like, guys that I had to kill. It was switches. I like that, like, the stunned animation for a lot of enemies is they just, like, fall over. I was not expecting knights in armor to be an enemy in this game, frankly. Because it's like, I get, like, a sci-fi vibe, but I guess it's, like, sci-fi, dark fantasy combination. Okay, the sniper shotgun is no longer needed. just nail this guy if you know what I'm fucking talking about. Classic. Gothic! That's a good word to use. Okay. Oh. The temple. 
Even those, like, insect chirping noises in the background feel very familiar. I don't think they're in Doom, but... Might just be another popular stock sound effect. <laughs> These animations are, like, in a way, kind of painful to look at. Oh, there's more traps. <gasps> Rocket launcher. The original. We found it, boys. Dear God. Let's just run in there and get it. Nice. Look at that. And that, that exact noise, I'm pretty sure, is just straight up in TF2. Okay, wow. A lot of, like, tricks and traps. What's going on, man? I was just not expecting this. Wow. I'm great at timing that perfectly so that I get hit every time. I wanted him to explode. They only jib when you, uh... Overkill them, I suppose, right? That's how it used to work in Doom, at least. Okay, I don't want to get put through the crusher. I'm going to be inserted into machine. It's fun. I'm having fun. It doesn't... It just doesn't have that, like, bright, vibrant sort of visual style that Doom had, I fear. I bet enemies probably get hit by those traps too, right? Unironically, like, Dark Souls strategy. <laughs> kind of got locked into a corner there. Okay, that is, that's a teleport in there. Of some variety. Wow, I just stepped right in front of that, didn't I? Just unironically. Oh! <laughs> the last thing you see before you die in the year eight. Oh god, no, wait. <laughs> oh, and then, you know, you get you get pushed down there, and then you have to deal with the, the blowjob brothers. Ow, I thought there might be a secret under there. Is it just a random chance of jibbing? Okay. I saw a tweet recently, I don't know if it- was it Sandy Peterson? It was one of the old, like, id guys, I think. Just an exhausted, like, tone of voice tweet saying, like, Yes, it is jibbing. It is not gibbing. It's like giblets. Please. <laughs> Which is a, you know, a word that's been mispronounced throughout the millennia of gamers existing. Did Were those switches that I had, or was that just a... Illusion. I got a key. I can't believe they retired the blue key. At least, they seem to have retired the blue key. The blue key was so iconic. Okay, oh, am I out? No, I've got 60 rockets. Oh my god. I love the little noise. Dang, dang, dang. The little sound they make when they ping around, too. Oh! The King of Bees tries to put the pin back in. It's I died by my own grenade. Man, even just the way the mouse moves around when you're dead, like, lying sideways like this, it's hard to describe, but that's in... I feel like it works the exact same way in, like, the Source engine, of course. Famously, this is something... This is a fun fact that I learned this about, like, a year ago, maybe, and it blew my fucking mind. Uh... There's this, like, flickering light effect in this game. I'm really- wait, I've been using- no, that's shotgun shells, I see. Uh... There's this flickering light effect, I don't know if we've seen it yet, maybe we have, maybe we haven't. That got carried over into the gold source engine when Valve, uh, made the original Half-Life. And then... It got carried over into the Source engine when Valve made the Source engine and Half-Life 2 and Team Fortress 2 and shit. And then... Ooh, is there a secret? Nice. Look at this. It even, you know, signified that it was a secret. Even though it was kind of out in the open. And then in Source 2, in Half-Life Alex, it's the same flicker effect. Uh... Can we get... There's like a... 
there's there's just a little gif that demonstrates this perfectly. Quake light flicker. There's a little giblet that does that that demonstrates this. Yeah, there's I, I'm getting this from an article that says Ancient 90s code from Quake still controls lights in Half-Life Alex, And it's just this little, like, pattern. It's just a little simple pattern of, like, a stuttering light. Let's save... This is a video. I'm saving an MP4 video file. And look, this is from four different games. Oh, why did it go away? Oh, it, it played. It, it didn't... It doesn't loop. Hold on, okay, I can set it to loop, I think. Actually, how the fuck do you do that? OBS, like, updated or something. But whatever, here it is. Like, Portal, Half-Life 1, Half-Life 2, and Quake, and I'm pretty sure it's also in Half-Life Alex. Yeah, here, hold on, hold on. The shit blew my fucking mind. It's just, like, the definition of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Like, I don't even get the impression that it's like, oh, you know, a little tribute, you know, a little Easter egg or anything. I am fully convinced that they literally just reused some tiny little line of code that just has, like, you know, for this period of time, the light is on. For this period of time, the light is off. It's so funny. It's like, whoever made that flickering light effect in Quake nailed it. They just, <laughs> they cooked. Ooh, rockets. I should probably be saving, uh, by the way. It booted me back to the beginning of the level. When I died, I kinda... Kinda forgot that's how these old ones work. <laughs> no autosaves. Or at least, uh... Maybe you need to manually load them. Doom... The versions of Doom that I've played had autosaves, I think. Okay. Ah. Uh, I guess I need to find another way up there. Uh, uh. Castle gates. Okay, we gotta mine the traps. Come on, gang! Mind the traps! What just hit me? Was that really- Oh, there really was one placed right there. Clever, clever. game was also the genesis of, uh, oh my god, rocket jumping, right? Perhaps not the genesis. Oh, they're infighting! They were infighting for a second there, that was cool. Do that, do that some more. These guys' melee attack is quite slow, but they're quite fast. They're like the pinkies of this game. Oh, super nail gun. What? <laughs> There's a better nail gun? Okay, so why would I ever use the original nail gun now? <laughs> oh, and the Quake logo. Isn't there- there's also like the quad damage power-up, right? Where you get, uh... Quad damage. Oh, was there maybe something behind that portal? Oh shit! Shambler. Spotted. Absolutely spotted. Uh... That's not the grenade launcher. Okay, he's got like a Vortigaunt lightning attack. This is the guy that has been uh, the subject of endless debate, whether or not he has fur. And I think in some, I think maybe in this re-release of this game, there's some kind of, there's like a bestiary or something that has like brief descriptions of all the enemies. And I think it doesn't, like, settle the debate, but it, uh, references the debate. It says, like, oh, it's hard for people to tell if this has... Oh my god, if it has <laughs> fur or just, like, slimy white skin. Uh... I should really start saving. I don't know, that just snuck up on me. The blast radius for the, uh projectiles the grenades is is quite a uh, quite big <laughs> I feel like the doom ones were uh, smaller but maybe I'm wrong I 
I mean, needless to say, but this shit must have blown some fucking minds when it first came out. Obviously. Like, take a bunch of Doom nerds and give them this. I can only imagine the, the jizzing of pants that commenced. Oh yeah? <laughs> I'll take it. God damn it. Okay. Let's try again, shall we? Maybe just like save right here. I should probably bind a uh, a quick save. Save game. Oh, I don't need to type in a description for it. That's awesome. Huge quality of life change. You don't have to name your fucking saves like a psychopath. Super nail gun, they say. Okay, that's. <laughs> <sighs> yep, I love the sniper shotgun. I wish- I wish every game had a sniper shotgun. Okay. Pizza. That's the pizza room. Okay, is that a murder spike? It's a murder spike. God damn it. They love their goddamn murder spikes. Just take that. We're at full health. Oh god. <laughs> I love when they explode. That is just a, a simple, a simple joy in life, I think. Shooting an enemy in a video game and their, like, head blows up or whatever. That's just like, ah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Pure and simple entertainment. Wow, that guy was a pussy. Why did he die so fast? Die by your own grenade. You didn't actually. <laughs> they love ambushing me with those guys. It really is an id software game. That's something I really appreciate about, like, the Doom games. Is there- they have a penchant for... Not just having, like, I think some games are a little too focused on just, like, having an enemy that's just difficult to deal with in any situation. I think what Doom and, you know, this so far also really excel at is putting enemies in certain situations where they are especially tricky to deal with, you know, or surprising you with uh, a certain type of enemy or something. Oh. I like this little system we got going here. You jump, I shoot. <laughs> I really am trying as hard as humanly possible to get hit by those. Okay, that just brings me back here. Uh, I have the key, so I should just go back to the beginning. I got hit by the spike because I'm a fucking dumbass. Fuck you, buddy. And I haven't even fought the Shambler yet. Shambler's kind of scary. <laughs> I, I was not expecting it. I kind of... I kind of thought it was going to be like another standard goon. But no, it's like quite fucking intimidating. Strafing, it's a... Any enemy that like circle strafing does not work on is terrifying. Okay, there's nothing behind this. I thought maybe there was going to be something behind it. Uh, let's... Oh. Oh! Did going through the portal backwards make a secret appear, though? Holy shit. That's awesome. Wow. Ooh, that felt good. Okay. Oh, fuck. I don't know what to do with this. No, 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 no. This is the quintessential quad damage experience. Okay, here we go. Here we fucking go. Okay. 
quad damage with the champ. Yeah! Yeah! It's fun. It's a fun game. I found a cool secret and I got a power up and I went up to the boss and I shot him and his head exploded. That was sick. And now I'm back here. Okay, but now, now I have the key to some door somewhere. I don't remember where it is. Did I even go in here in the drink? Oh, this... I think I found this the first time. No. This is a different thing. Cool. I really do want to play those build engine games. I, the one I'm looking forward to the most is Blood, but I think I'm going to play Duke 3D and Shadow Warrior as, like, the veggies before the dessert, basically, because I've heard that Blood is, like, one of the best fucking video games ever made. Okay. My fucking abysmal sense of direction is- I don't suppose there's a map in this game, is there? Wouldn't really, uh, be as easy. The- the map in Doom is, like, a no-brainer in a weird way. Okay, I- I got the gold and silver key. I'm losing- I'm losing health? Slowly? Why is that happening, I wonder? Did I get, like, poisoned by the water or something? Because <laughs> this is just this. Right? Or no, what is this? I don't know what this is. I'm lost. I'm lost. Help me. I'm lost. Help me. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, is it like, uh, it's under here. It's under here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I thought it was gonna stay there. You can't have over 100 health, so it will drain. Oh. Uh, what gave me the overheal? Was it- it wasn't the quad damage, was it? What? I really thought that was gonna be a level transition. Like a Portal 1 style level transition, you know? Oh, look at that. That's awesome. <sighs> this is fun. This is fun. Hey, buddy. Okay, about three grenades. Take out one of those bastards. I, I love it's so like brazen and like video gamey to have the logo of the video game all throughout the game. <laughs> oh. oh, there's so many goodies. The super nail gun slaps. This door opens elsewhere. I'm assuming that means, like, there's a switch that opens this door elsewhere. Look at that. I need the gold rune key. And that's... okay. I don't suppose that's the gold rune key. Did I, did I, like, fuck it up, actually? No, here we go. I feel, that feels so makeable. Does the diagonal running work trick, <laughs> trick work in here? I don't, I don't suppose it does, does it? Oh, that feels so makeable. Uh, no, 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 no. Maybe not. Rocket jump? I, I guess I could try. That's the first time I've ever, like, rocket jumped, and it actually worked. Okay, uh... Thing is, now I gotta get back to... <laughs> okay, well that's cool and all. I, I suspect that I want to do the rest of the level... ...anyway. Because it will give me goodies. So let's go do that. That's neat, though. 
What the fuck is this? What the fuck? What is happening, dude? What the fuck? What just happened? What? <laughs> Can I? Please, I'm desperately pressing F for flashlight. I feel like I, I just had a stroke. Is this a door? Okay, it's like a multi-layered door. So, I mean, I'm really scared to go back in here. It's like I fall down a hole. It, it's I fell down a hole and then there's a teleport. I was like so disoriented because it just spat me back out right here. So what the fuck? Oh. Who is shooting me? Literally, who is shooting me? Uh, unironically, who is shooting me? What? It's just like a bunch of traps in the walls, I guess? Wild. It, that's, that's like, just, like, don't go in there. Like, there's just nothing in there whatsoever. Is, is the vibe that I'm getting. I, I, like, tried jumping over, but, like, I can't see it at all. Okay, no, it does work. It does work. <laughs> okay. That somehow worked out. Thankfully, these enemies, like, they shoot grenades, but they're pretty easy to stun. And just keep stun locked. Okay. Don't suppose I need a red rune key to open that door? Mm. Zombies. Uh, I need the silver rune key. Not what I would have guessed. Uh, shooting that do anything? Ooh. These these zombie guys are real annoying. Uh, I don't like them. Just, I can't see at all. <laughs> that shit sucks. Oh, I don't. You're not meant to. Like, clearly, this is a thing that, like, a, a bridge that extends, right? Like, I'm not supposed to rocket jump that. Don't suppose this opened. Oh, that's new. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm assuming that opened another door. Elsewhere, that is a hole. <laughs> God, oh, it just keeps going. That's the wrong gun. It's that shit that I love. I love how they keep, like, ambushing you with weird scenarios. Oh my god, okay. The clash. They look behind you, twerp. This is just like that part, I gotta grab my Indiana Jones hat. It's just like those guys in Labyrinth. Do you remember that amazing bit in Labyrinth where there's, like, a tunnel with a, uh, a moving wall of spikes going down it, and then they, like, dodge past it, and you see the back of it? And it's this gigantic contraption being piloted by, like, a tiny little goblin. Oh! I see! It's the chasm. Chasm type B. Okay. Uh, I got a rune key. That's the silver rune key, baby! Now that bridge is open, I can see it plainly from here. Good design. I think this passes the game design check. Okay, let's just keep shooting with rockets until problem is gone. Yep. <laughs> I 
I don't know what hit me there. Maybe it was just uh, one of their latent grenades on the ground. So many switches in this level. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> this guy does not really uh, do the pain animation thing like other enemies tend to do. I've noticed. Is this the level exit? I kind of want to kill this guy before I do that. Sadly, he did not explode, which made me very sad. Sadly sad. Yeah, I'm a writer. Words are my tool. Yeah. Okay. Toy Story 2 moment. Why are people saying Toy Story 2? What was Toy Story 2 about any of that level? <laughs> what, like, the part where they're on the, uh... The conveyor belts in the- <laughs> in, like, the luggage section of the airport? The moving spike wall is like the opening of Toy Story 2. The, like, uh... Th the Buzz Lightyear segment. The, like, highly fantasized, uh... Fantasticized? I think I know what you're talking about. Sorry, it's from Labyrinth, guys. Is that a quad damage? What the fuck is that? A, it's a grapple hook? Seriously, what is that? You got the rune! Ah! <gasps> okay. I think I've seen this guy before. This is a cool guy. Do I just shoot him? <laughs> There's no music. I got the rune. What does that mean? Oh my god. Shit, wait, I swapped off the weapon I wanted to use. He's just like taking big swings at me. Is this- can I get the- the height advantage on this chump? Am I even hitting him? No. All the grenades are dropping off into the water. Oh. Uh, is this like a puzzle boss? Am I even supposed to shoot it? Put it into the Klasha. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? Can I just keep doing that? Is that how you're supposed to do it? It doesn't really seem like it's responding to the damage that I'm pouring into it. So we just gotta like set this up again. The animations are so quaint. It's so adorable, right? Is its head just like covered in eyes? I'm not even really sure what I'm looking at there. It's just like a very abstract, like, hell demon. All right, three times, it must be dead, yes. <laughs> I like the little anime. Oh no, the way he fell into the lava. That was awesome. Should be using the keypad. Why? Okay. I had trust in the game, and then it was, the trust was somewhat broken. Damn. Oh. Why are there just guts? There's like shambler guts just appearing. I love that little sound. That little teleport sound effect is so cartoonish. I feel like I've straight up heard that exact. It's like, I mean, it's like a Hanna Barbera sound effect. I think maybe it was in Heretic or Hexen, and it's also in the Venture Brothers. <laughs> Zero secrets, yippee. 21 kills, okay. Oh, lore. As the corpse of the monstrous entity, Cthon <laughs> sinks back into the lava. I'm gonna wait for it to, you know. I don't wanna have to read it super slow. As the corpse of the monstrous entity, Cthon, sinks back into the lava whence it rose, you grip the rune of earth magic tightly. Now that you have con conquered, and the Q is the Quake logo, now that you have conquered the dimension of the doomed realm of earth magic, you are ready to complete your task. A rune of magic power lies at the end of each haunted land of Quake. Go forth, seek the totality of the four runes. Cool. This is cool music, too. <laughs> that was so corny, I love it.
Okay. Oh, and we're back here. And this is sealed off. That's cool. Very cool. Okay, well, we're just blasting through it. This is the second episode, The Realm of Black Magic. Ancient castles and strange beasts ahead. Oh, I'm excited. I'm not going to probably stream for, like, a super long time. We might not beat this episode today, but, uh... Wow, cool. Like, hay up there? Perhaps baleen? Hey guys, do you think maybe the game would should be, like, a little louder? Let me turn it up just a tiny bit. Has it been quiet this whole time? These textures are making me think, not just like Doom, but also Half-Life, of course. The before and after. Right, we haven't seen too many of these guys in a while, actually. Oh, I'm back to uh, default weapons. I, I assume that's how it's supposed to go. Shit. Oh, a new guy. Advanced soldier. They got <laughs> look at that little pew pew. Oh, that's a deeply silly gun. Unserious as fuck. Oh, look at him in fighting. I at least I think they're in fighting. They're not hit scanners. That means they can in fight. Or no, I think <laughs> scanners are like the quintessential it fighters. Okay, let's just go down here, I suppose. Can I have your gun? Perchance to dream? Oh, what hit me? That guy. I fucking hate that guy. Oh, yeah, sealing you into a room with like a, a, a quickly shutting door. These are very like, uh, this, for some reason this room really makes me think of Star Wars, actually. Okay. I'd love to have that guy's backpack. Just the fact like I know, of course it doesn't have the same value that it had in Doom, but the, pack, the backpack was such a good thing to get in original Doom that, uh, the fact that, like, every enemy drops a backpack in this game is just, like, ultra-dosing me with serotonin. That's, it's like a mega-dose, the opposite of a micro-dose. Not just a dose, but, like, a dosey do if you will. All right, let's test if I drown. I hope it's not just an instantaneous death, a la Mario 64 or like Tomb Raider. I think I started to take a little bit of damage right at the end there, but it seems kind of lenient. This guy's just like, I know his, his name's just Quake Guy, right? Like hilariously, uh, but he's like the great granddaddy of like modern war shooter characters, I feel. Cool. Man, you know what I'm actually really loving? Is the music. It's like really, I, I really, really dig the music. I Like I dig the music in Doom as well, but it's like such a different flavor. That's the thing that's really setting this game apart for me. God. It's just so, it's, this is so cool. It's so cool seeing like the, the Half-Life DNA as well, you know, or I guess, you know, the Quake DNA. But you know what I mean. It's like, ah, no wonder Half-Life came out of this. Oh, what did that do? <laughs> Shit, I was not expecting that to actually do something. Uh, that like open a door somewhere? Oh, I see. It was just a long animation of it sliding to the side. I thought it was a button. It's very dark. Whoa. 
Why did that, like, it's just because I got a new weapon. It's just because I haven't been seeing this HUD. Uh, it feels like I'm underwater still. Do I have the quad damage right now? And <laughs> there's, like, no enemies around. I remember in the Civi video, he said, like, the quad damage, you always fucking get it. And the, or maybe it's just me being overhealed. He was like, you always get the quad damage and then just run around aimlessly, not knowing where to go, because there's, like, no enemies left. <laughs> Oh man, I am so bad at navigating these levels. <laughs> Seriously, what? Oh, partially because it's dark. Is this a way? No. Like seriously, I just want to get to another part of the level. This is where I spawned in. Okay. Perhaps this red arrow will help. No. Oh, no, I do have the key for that. <laughs> that fucking noise, man. Okay, and now we're up here. Brilliant. Brilliant. Yep. Cool ambush. I gotta, like, internalize, like... What's the grenade launcher button? Six. I gotta reach all the way over to six to turn on the grenade launcher. Or to get it out, rather. Oh, what the fuck? Is that an explodey barrel? Get- Oh, I can't leave, I see. Thought I was, like, stuck on the level geometry or something. Uh, hmm. Weird. It's, it's something that's kind of that I, I'm kind of disliking about this game so far is that like so many things are like identically sized boxes on the ground. Like it was really easy to tell just at a moment's notice, even in the heat of battle in the original Doom, like what kind of ammo you're looking at, for instance. But here it's like, ah, oh, they're all just kind of boxes. <laughs> I wish I could crouch and get a better look at it. Look at that shit, man. Woof, woof. It sounded like bony. This shit looks like the battle pass. Wow. Okay. The grenade launcher, probably not necessary for doggies. Is that a button? I'm in gay baby jail? Yeah, I'm really digging this music. You know, it actually- I did not mean to do this in the slightest. The use of this Kingsfield song at the beginning of the stream was like, I swear, total coincidence. Doesn't this song sound a ton like the music I started the stream off with? I swear to God, I did not plan that. It's like, <laughs> almost the same song. <laughs> it's so similar. It's very ambient. It's just got that same kind of like pounding, uh... I don't even know what to call that instrument in the background. Nice. You love to see it. Yeah, shoot a grenade, duck into cover, and duck out of cover, and it's just like a rain of blood and guts. <laughs> where the enemies were once standing. That's what you like to see. Oh my god, they, they love locking me into these fucking rooms. So, I'm sorry, those are traps, okay. <laughs> nice little, like, fucking stormtrooper bullets, by the way. Okay, end of level, nice. Does the game seem quiet? Like, people are saying they can barely hear the music. It's like, I don't want to raise it up, like, the music is very quiet and ambient. But I don't want to raise it up and then have the gun sound effects and, like, explosions and shit be wicked loud. The music is low, but the rest is good, okay. Yeah. It's not very, like, active music, for sure. Uh... I like that when there's multiple switches you have to hit, it, like, tells you. 
That, that's such that, that, that's id software, like old id software games, just so charming. I love the way they like tell you things with text in the dead center of the screen in those very like cheesy kind of campy fonts. I don't know how to f how a font can be campy, but they manage it. This guy looks like he wants uh oh, some dinners. Okay. Ow. They, that's going to get me so many fucking times in this game. Rounding a corner with an explosive weapon and one of those guys comes sprinting around. Oh, what the fuck is that? Cool dragon. Wow. You love to see it. You love to see a cool dragon. So, uh, I'm having fun, but I also think just in terms of the future of me streaming, you know, the rest of the series, because my classic thing is to start with game number one and then do, like, all the games in a series, like a classic series. Uh, something tells me, like, I've not heard great things about the Quake sequels. Like, Quake 2, 3, and 4, I believe, are, like, the numbered sequels. And, uh... I've not heard- I've heard that they're, like, kind of boring is all, like, they don't- they don't do- and again, this is just what I've heard, but I've heard that they don't, uh, do a ton of, like, unique things, like, they're not super worth playing if you've played Quake 1. Uh... So, correct me if I'm wrong there, I'm- I'm definitely open to... different takes on this, but that's just what I've heard, uh, and... I think I'd be happy with just playing this one and then moving on. And maybe doing some of those build engine games instead. That guy's AI was a little fucked up. Is there a guy above me too? Oh my god, there's so many of these guys. <laughs> do, do those guys just like run into each other and slam their noggins together like a couple of coconuts? Did I see that right? It really looked like they just were both like running full kilter into each other and went dunk. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. I'm locked in. God damn it. I'm locked in and he's tweaking. Oh. I see. You could do the dance of the revenant with uh, with the shambler, and in fact, I think that's going to be the way to take them down in the future. The thing where you like bait them into doing a melee attack and then back away. Oh my god, he actually hit me! I'm just shooting any random piece of scenery. Because their ranged attack is just so fucking dangerous. Let's shoot one grenade over there and polish them off. Ah! I died, and now I'm gonna have to redo all this. The Ogre Citadel. Are those- those guys with the grenades, those are ogres, I take it? Hold on, sorry, I'm just gonna like... I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit because I'm just like... Trying to develop the funniest possible Shrek joke to make. Uh, just kidding, those don't exist. <laughs> I love the f the no interpolation animations. Those are great. I'm sorry if it's making anyone like fucking sick to their stomach. God, you guys just come in here and get destroyed by that thing. Uh. By the way, guys, uh, fans of Rhythm Heaven, this is this is going to be pretty fucking far off in the future, but I've been invited to work on a collaborative project uh, in the Rhythm in the Heaven Studio community. Uh, and so you can expect that in probably like many months, like several months in the future, but I will be part of a, a large collaboration project, 
Uh, so look forward to that. I've already started work on it. Yeah, I might play Quake 2. Quake 2 has that whack fucking secret. Where it has, like, shrines to, like, all the developers and shit, right? Kinda wanna play it just to see that. As dumb as that might sound. The quad. Gotta lock in. Gotta lock in. Okay, bait. Yes! Huge. Oh my god. This is a great power up. <laughs> I love the quad damage. It's so. That's so excessive. You know, four times the damage. Like, was that really necessary? No. But that's what makes it magical. I really got, like, japed into staying in here. What the fuck? Can I open this again? <laughs> Hold on. It's that. That's how you do it. Where'd that go? Oh my god, it went really far. <laughs> the DLCs for this are interesting experiences. Okay. I, uh... I know Doom 2 was when John Romero, uh, I, I don't know all the, like, drama of the Johns, but John Carmack was, like, famously more of a programmer, and John Romero was famously more of an artist and a level designer. And, uh... With, with Carmack being less in favor of, like, including story and, like, other more aesthetics-focused elements, Whereas John Romero was, like, a big advocate for stuff like that. And I think, like, just for- again, this is just from what I've heard, it's probably inaccurate in some ways. I seem to remember hearing that, like, John Romero was kind of, like, goofing off while make while they were making, like, Quake 2 and he got booted off the project. John- oh, maybe if you jib those guys, they don't come back. John Romero's kind of, like, famous, like, he seems like an extremely chill guy, but he's kind of famous for, uh, for a period of time in the 90s when he appeared to have quite a bit of an ego, you know, uh, off, coming off the heels of making Doom and Quake. And so, the thing that I've heard about Quake 2 is that it's just kind of, like, dry, and it doesn't have that, like, John Romero touch to it, you know? John Romero left right before Quake. Is he not in the credits for this? I thought he was in the credits. So I got my timeline kind of messed up there. But I... Yeah, fr from what I've heard, it was like... I keep saying that. I've said that about a billion times this stream. It was like the two Johns were at an impasse in terms of how they wanted to progress with these games. Oh, that's a- you're an advanced soldier. I see. Okay, is this bait? I hear something pounding. Oh! He's got like a fire attack. I see. This door is opened nearby. Why does that feel like broken English? Did you guys see RPG Maker with? <laughs> any, any of you guys see that? I know I made a Twitter post, Twitter post about it, so probably a lot of you saw it. But RPG Maker has like a version on the Switch that's coming out, and it's called RPG Maker with. <laughs> and uh, people already in chat saying with what? Just with. <laughs> Just simply with, it straight up reads like the person who wrote the title died halfway through of a heart attack, like Monty Python in the Holy Grail style. And they just decided to leave the title like that to honor that guy's memory. The stream was left on for 24 hours to honor his memory. Uh, 
We've, we're at we're at amazing health and armor. But sadly, my goldfish memory just like ticked over, and all the information that was stored in my brain just like flooded out of it. Just completely gone. Right. I need to go this way. Something opened up there. Is this, uh... There's gotta be some juicy secrets in here. Fish? I'm sorry, is that a sprite? No, that's a model. Fish enemies. I did not know that there were fish enemies in this game. Oh. Oh! Oh, that took me right back here. Beautiful. Right where I needed to be. <laughs> nin. I got the nin. You bring the tendo. Oh. I think that could work. I think we refined that bit a little bit and it could work. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know what the technique is for that. Oh, yeah. This is just... Mwah, chef's kiss. The slowly rotating, uh, bobbing up and down collectibles on the ground. That's just beautiful. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. Those guys have quite a bit of health. I wasn't really making perfectly efficient use of the super shotgun. Sorry, double barreled. Man, uh... Okay, you need to like juke it out. That's the way to deal with that. There are other ways to go here. No, this is just this. It looped, it opened up another path. Man, I would love a map. Is there a map, guys? I know I asked earlier. I'm so... I'm so bad. Okay. Hold on. Fish. Meat grenade. Can't have those. There's no map. That sucks. The map was like what kept me sane in Doom. <laughs> I do kind of feel like, you know, I can blame myself a certain amount, but also, like, a lot of these maps are very labyrinthine. Oh. Maybe I'm not supposed to go down here if that's how this elevator is going to function. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Oh. You got the nails. I sure did. That was cool, I guess. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> no, hold on. Try the other side. I don't know. It's all... Everything loops around. Loops around too much. Too much Metroidvanium. The heads. <sighs> okay. So, I hear enemies. Where are they? Down? Are they in the water? Or are they up there? Oh, they're up there. Well, that sucks, because that doesn't really, uh... Like, I know this is where I just was, but... There wasn't any way to, like, go forward here. I guess I can temporarily... Oh! I can temporarily light up an area with, uh... Gunfire. Okay. The portal lies beyond. Oh, is this, uh, an entrance to a secret level? Perchance? Okay, activate that, hold forward into it. Oh my god, I'm- <laughs> I'm really at a loss for what to do, frankly. Maybe around here? Oh, here we go. That's the good shit. Oh god. Huh. I 
nice. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. Oh, that like bounced off the wall. I was like, how did you shoot a grenade at me from there? All right, I got the nails. I got the super nail gun. <sighs> I love when they, uh, they give you kind of a tough enemy and then they give you a really nice weapon and then they give you that tough enemy again and they go down like a little bitch and you just feel so powerful in that moment. Oh. <laughs> the sound that the quake guy makes. Same exact noise made by me. Yeah? Classic. Some things you have to shoot, some of them you have to, uh... Oh god. Touch. <laughs> yeah. I took a lot of damage doing that. Are they all dead? You. Can I go over there? Fuck! That was a dumb play. Oh man, now I'm down here again. Oh man. Fish. I think it was this way. Actually made it. Actually found my way to a place. If you... If you can believe it! Why were those so delayed on firing, I wonder? Uh... Listen, buddy. You and I, we've had our differences. It's time to set them aside. Uh... I would love that big box of rockets that looks so cool. Neat. Is this anything? Give me the nail gun. Hold on. What is it? Four? What? Oh, no ammo. Lame. What if I go to the other side? Oh. Eh, it's probably nothing, huh? Oh. Oh, I bet that's the exit. But I bet this shambler is guarding some cool stuff. Maybe that's not the exit. Maybe I'm a dummy. I'm at low health. I'm at very low health. Nice. Oh, he was like a touch away from death. Don't suppose those are anything? Ooh. The fuck? Oh. Cool. Cool secrets. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> if I hold Q, this happens. That's funny. I don't see myself using that. The underwater barrier is lowered. Hold the phone, dude. Is this a uh, secret level? I should go back to that. I think I may have I, actually uh, found a secret. I don't think it was this way, but where even am I? It was that place with like the trap doors that had like the three knights that came out. I just don't remember where they were. It was past the uh, the spike trap. I think if I get to that central area with the four bridges, I can get back there. Oh, arrows? Uh, this doesn't matter. I'm already overhealed. Oh, alright. Never got over there, too. So I think if I go this way, yeah. I can hold shift to move slowly. This, it's the the one with a torch is the one that's like a secret door too. Okay. 
What will this be? This is the portal, apparently. Completed. Find the secret exit! Holy shit. There's a secret level in every episode you missed the first one. Oh. Cool. I'm, like, weirdly proud of myself for finding that. I feel like in all the Doom games, I never actually found a secret exit on my own. I always had to, like, look them up. Okay. I don't suppose, do we know how many, like, uh, episodes or how many levels are in each episode? Oh, god damn it. <laughs> I fell on my own grenade. Hoisted by my own Picard. Been a while since we've seen these slimy fucks. They got a little bit of that alien controller vibe to them. Be glad you missed the first secret level, okay. Oh. Another one of these assholes. This is fine. Go for a swim first. <laughs> it's like custom text telling me where the key is or where the switch is for that door. Go for a swim. Don't suppose uh, there's a way to open that? Eh? Uh, hasn't there been like three inches of level? Go for a swim. Go take a fucking long hike on a short pier. I've never heard that before, but that's incredible. Take a long walk on a short pier. Yeah, buddy, I'm so pissed at you. Go walk into the ocean. <laughs> Why don't you just go walk into the damn ocean? Oh, fuck. Whoa, enemies have, like, jumps. <laughs> they can jump down. That's kind of cool. That's just a baron of hell. That is just a baron of hell. It's like kind of different, but come on. Okay, the gold key. Uh, I don't have the rocket launcher. Can you grenade jump? <laughs> I'm assuming you can, but it's probably a little imprecise. Sewer. The progenitor of many sewer levels. Okay, uh, for some reason I'm feeling the instinct to just run. During this part. Oh my god, there's so much going on. Okay, let these guys in fight a little bit, perhaps. Oh, motherfucker. Motherfucker, there's so much happening. Yep, you guys can all just chill down there. I'll handle it up here. God damn it. Everywhere you step, there's more fucking guys. Oh, look at my HUD. I didn't even realize that one rune that I picked up is there. Whew. Episode 1 has 8 levels. Episode 2 has 7. Huh. Okay. Good to know. And which one of... Episode 2, uh... Am I on right now? Does it say anywhere? I think... Well, it's just, like, save. No, it doesn't. It just says the name of the level. I'm on 4. Brilliant. Thanks, guys. Glad to have you here. Uh... That's so cool that they can hop. Just like Elden Ring. How they gave every enemy a hop. I would so like to try. Let's let's try grenade jumping up here. I don't know if it's possible, but I would love to find out for myself. Game saved. <laughs> oh, 
<gasps> that's so cheesy. Wait, that's amazing. Hold on, guys. Do I like bomb jumping now? I mean, I always did in fucking Overwatch, because it doesn't hurt you in Overwatch. That was always the sticking point for me in TF2. Literally, what the fuck just happened? I felt like there was, like, a an enemy, like, no-clipping or something, like, behind me. I actually, that felt like a glitch. What happened? Hold on. No, I can just load my, uh... This one? Yeah. <laughs> so, what the fuck happened over here? It, it felt like something, like, spawned in like, on top of me, or something, and, like, pushed me around. And there was- how did a guy with a sword, like, get up here? Oh, they rode the elevator! <laughs> so funny. Oh my god. I didn't realize that guy was standing right there. Okay, this is like at the end of the, uh, the gauntlet that I ran past earlier. God damn. My, like, modern gaming scum fingers, uh, continually are pressing R to try to reload my weapons. And the game only laughs in my face when I do that. Ha ha ha! Reloading? No such thing! Okay, this guy's being a real annoying asshole. We're just gonna... Yeah, you can deal with that cool room, buddy. There's always more of these fucks. I really hate these knights. Uh, I'm gonna take a save. Even though I just took a bunch of fucking damage. Let me just cheese this guy out with, uh, bullet. Okay. There's nails down there, but... There's also nails being shot out of the wall at me. So... Priorities. Survival. Oh! You're an enemy! Ooh, health! Oh wait, that was actually health. What? I thought that was an explodey box. Was there not a box that looked like nearly identical? I know it had like the red cross on it or whatever. There was one earlier that I shot and I swear it blew up. Maybe I just like destroyed it. <laughs> this is cool. Time to bomb some motherfuckers. Oh, someone just got crushed! <laughs> I don't know who's hitting me. I keep trying to crouch jump, too. <laughs> okay, the spike. Free lobotomies! You don't have to go to Claire's anymore to get lobotomies. You can just stand under the spike and get your brain smushed a little bit. Okay, it's funny. I got the gold key and then I didn't actually, like, use it on this door. I want to play the level. Cool crazy snake guys coming from the ceiling. Yeah, this shit is just carnage. I, I am enjoying it. A lot more, like, moody and subdued than Doom. What is happening? Bio suit. Oh, that- the, the water was hurting me. Oh, 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 oh. Secret! Uh. Ah. Ah. 
Give me a backpack. <laughs> Fucking scary. Straight up the sound of Dr. Orpheus teleporting in the Venture Brothers. They ran out of nails. Ran out of milk. Oh no, wait, no, I do have nails. You receive 15 health. I receive one million dollars. I'm just like instantly using up nails anytime I get them. Wow, this sucks. Wow, this sucks. Three more to go. Why are there four switches then? What the fuck? That's such a fucked up room to put in your game. Can't believe they did that. So I can't help but notice there were three- Oh, it was going out in like a- I see. So if you like circle around it, it works. I thought it was just spamming them in all directions constantly. I can't help but notice that I pressed a fourth switch. Yet... It, it Was it just like a redundant switch? Like, you only need to hit three, but there are four to make it easier? Or was that like a secret? Fuck the night, guys. Using my gun as a flashlight. Standard stuff. Hold on, is this... Guys, this is the light flicker. This is it right here. The quake light flicker. <laughs> I don't know if that's the first time we've seen that in this stream, but that just caught my attention. Okay, more zombinos. Gotta hit more switches, it's fine. Because the grenade launcher makes these guys easy peasy. Looks like they're like, throwing little chunks of themselves. Hold on, am I missing, like, a cool animation? Oh. I think it was those stairs opening up at the top. They're fighting each other. Keep it up, guys. We love to see that. Uh. Okay. I think I can proceed. This is, like, the first room in the level, right? Oh, fuck. <sighs> Exciting. Exciting gameplay. All right. Uh, what do I got? 64 out of 67, 1 out of 2. I'll take it. I'll fucking take it. I like that the enemies have, like, patrol routes. And sometimes you can, like, sneak up on them. That's very cool to me. I, I really ate a fuck ton of damage just looking at him, though. <laughs> Stop moving around so much. Who taught you to walk? On my camping trip uh, this weekend, Belle and I have been tasked with uh, providing lunch on one of the days, and we're making walking tacos, baby. Or tacos in a bag. It's a classic I remember from Boy Scouts. It's where you take a little bag of, uh... Those little, like, mini bags of potato chips. And you do it with, like, Doritos and shit. Oh. And you, uh... Cook up some, like, meat and beans and shit, and you just toss it in there. And you, like, crunch up the bag. You, you take the bag of chips and you just eviscerate the chips that are inside it. And then you pour, like, tacos, like, seasonings and meat and stuff in there. 
and you just sort of like mix it all around with your hands and you can just eat it right out of the bag. It's so fucking funny and stupid. Uh, sadly, I have no clue where I am or where to go with this quad damage. Power up. I would love to encounter a shambler right now. Oh, what the fuck? There's so much shit here. Well, that's our first wasted quad damage. We didn't get a good rampage going there. The fuck? Oh. It was an ogre. Kind of hard to tell what lies beneath the surface of the water sometimes. This is right at the beginning. I can grab this health, though. Another similar scouting trick was eating Quaker instant oats right out of the bag. You'd, all you need is boiling water and, like, a spoon. Technically, you don't even need a spoon. You just pour the boiling water right into those oatmeal packets, and you just, like, you eat it like you're squeezing out a tube of toothpaste. Basically. I'm pretty lost. Uh, this is a very mazy area. Shit looks like Hazy Maze Cave, unironically. That's what I mean when I say it's maze-like. What is this fucking saxophone in the background? Oh. The Blowjob Brothers. I'm Particle Effects and I'm Splash Damage. Oh. <laughs> now we can get cooking again with the Rocket Launcher. Rocket Launcher. I think that guy's AI was probably too stupid to, like, follow me around the corner like that. Racket launcher. Wah. Still have the grenade launcher, too. We can't forget. Oh, I'm really good at missing. Where is that knight guy? He's stressing me out. Die! <sighs> the death he deserved. All of his limbs and his head exploded off of his body. Damn, it feels good to just nail something with a grenade. Especially, like, slightly trickier enemies to hit. Like, the trickier they are to hit, the more satisfying it becomes. Okay, I saw a grenade sail about one quarter centimeter in front of my face. But I'm not phased. <laughs> Just roll with the punches in this game. Gotta roll with it. Shit, was that a switch? God damn it. Can this take me back up, please? Oh. Quad damage. Now where are the enemies? There actually are enemies. Oh, why am I dying? Oh, this water is hazardous and I had a bio, uh... A biohazard thing that wore off, I see. My guy's face, he looks so coked out. Day one, no crack. Day two, no crack. Day three, no crack. Day four, crack. Huh. Need the silver key. I'm assuming, I'm, I'm sure that that button that I failed to press has got me all fucked up now, like... I'm sad I didn't press it. Can you, like, come around here? 
Can you like shut up? Uh. <laughs> Guys, am I more of a beavis or a butthead? What do you think? And I only want... I don't think so. I only want flattering answers. Okay, I think this is the right way to get to that button again. How are you alive? How are there alive enemies in this segment? I guess I didn't... I, this part I wasn't super thorough on. It must be said. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Is this a secret? You look secretive. Yeah. You just get a feel for it sometimes. Meow. This is like the music. This is borderline experimental. Is what I would describe this as. I just want to see where this would put me out. Here, I see. Oh, okay. Oh. Is that all that that did? Oh. What is this Mario ass shit? Good boy. All right, that was indeed the key to success. Where did he go? Did he land in the water? I heard a big splash. Jump, please. I... Unsure where that door is. I remember there being a door. It was right here. Smooth. Smooth level. Urgh. Man. These night guys just don't know when to quit. Oh, there's free rockets. Suppose I'll use them then. Probably wasted them. That fucking blows my socks off. That little saxophone cue. He's so bad. Alright. I swear I just heard like a Kremlin <laughs> sound effect. Oh. Okay, uh, I have not stopped moving for quite some time. It feels good. Shoot the buttons, dot, dot, dot. Why does the text in this game sometimes read like an Earl tweet? With all the dot, dot, dots. Uh, what buttons? Oh. Nice. Nice. Are you Fluffy Shambler Gang or Fleshy Shambler Gang? I, I guess I haven't weighed in on uh, my personal opinion. It looks fuzzy. It looks like it has fur. Honestly. And also, uh, relatedly, it's fucking Hydrosity because the game says Hydrosity. It literally says Hydrosity. There is no- there is no debate about Hydrosity, it's just the objective truth is that the video game in discussion, when that is being discussed, says Hydrosity. What are some other ones? What are some other, like, 
gaming uh, hot takes that I can, like heated debates that I can weigh in on. It's a cool texture. Balrog have wings? I don't, uh, I don't know what that's in reference to, honestly. L is real? Can you do half an A press? I mean... Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think there's actually a lot of people out here, like, saying that an A press, like, doesn't make sense. Although a lot of people, a lot of people watch that, like, Pan and Coek video in bad faith, I think. And they just hear, like, oh, half a button press, qual you know, uh, parallel universes, oh, LMAO, this is just, like, totally, like, psychotic, like, it's just complete nonsense. But, uh, it, the way he presents the information, it's like, no, it makes, like, perfect sense, the half an A press thing. Did you guys see the most recent Pan and Coek video that went up today? Or maybe yesterday. Uh, it was, it was like... I think it's called, like, And God Said Let There Be a Super Mario 64 or something like that. And it's, like, this music video of, like, a classical piece. I think, like, a classical piece may be recreated in, like, MIDI format. Look at him fighting. Actual RuneScape looking ass combat. Alright, who's gonna win? You get the reward of being obliterated by a rocket to the face. Oh my god, so many dudes. Beautifully done, though. Beautifully done! Uh... <laughs> the video that he made today was, he was like, Oh, there's like this classical piece that I heard, and he, he made a comment, like a pinned comment on the video explaining it. And he was like, I heard this classical music that really spoke to me, and it felt like I... It felt like God was talking me through such beautiful music. And... I had a vision, like, God spoke to me and it gave way to a vision of objects appearing in Super Mario 64 to the beat of the music. And so there's this entire, it's like an eight minute long video of this like classical piece playing and objects loading into Mario 64. It's like every object in the game, like coins and boxes and enemies and shit. It's beautiful, it's like beautifully made. It's like Pan and Cook, what the fuck was he cooking? Incredible stuff. Like, he literally, he legit, like, and I say this in a totally affectionate way, it's like a video where it's just like he totally went off the deep end, you know? <laughs> the man, his, his fucking DNA is Super Mario 64. Like, I'm sure if you cut him, he would bleed Mario 64. Not that I would want to cut him. Man, this room looks very similar to the one I, like, just fought my way through. But, with all sorts of enemies hanging out. Nice. Is that ever gonna- guys, Quake- people have been playing Quake for the last, like, 20 years. Does that ever get old? Because I hope it doesn't. Oh. Oh! Thunderbolt! Oh, I see! Okay. Hmm. Is this the thing where if you use it underwater, it, like, instantly kills you, or is that in Daikatana? I think that's in Daikatana. I mean, I could try. Okay, somebody said shoot it underwater in all caps. So, that kind of tells me all I need to know. Oh, fuck. Uh. What? Oh! What? Oh! What? Oh!
That's in Daikatana. Use it. No, no, you can't take it for me. Stupid, stinky, normal nail gun. It looks cooler, at least. This really is uh, an ogre hub. A hub of activity. A thriving hub of activity. A social third space for grenade launching ogres. It's also a walkable city, incidentally. No, don't lure me into the poop water! Ow! Oh. <laughs> I'm drowning. I'm drowning. <laughs> Me when I'm done, uh, sinking in the piss. Piss in the sink, sink in the piss. It was an attempt at a joke. And I would appreciate it if you could all just clap, just for pity purposes. I heard a weird snake guy. Where is he? Am I still in the bonus level? Wonder whose voice that is. I love just going on a rampage like that. It's so good. Oh yeah, oh yeah, come get some, come fucking get some. 